Hello students, now I take some special cases of electric field. Cases of electric field. Now these are generally asked in the your competitive exams like NEET and also many other exams also and sometimes in the case of the board exams also. First time taking number one the electric field. due to two parallel two parallel charged seats it means that you are given the two seats which are parallel to each other and they are charged and then you have to find the electric field because of them whether this charge uh, is uh, different or the same here we are having let these are the two seats this is now your plus sigma 1 and this seat is your plus sigma 2 you have to find the electric field at this point. This is now suppose the point P. Here we take the point P1. This we take the point P2. So now the electric field because of uh, this seat P1, this first seat. This is uh, now suppose in this way. And because of this seat, the electric field will be in this way, in the point P. And at point P1, the electric field because of this one is in this way, E1. And because of this E2, this is also in this way. And this sigma 1, that is in this direction. And sigma 2 is also in this direction. E2. So we have to find the electric field at the point P, P1 and P2 and you are looking that at point P1 and P2 we are having the same situation and at the point P this is not a different one. Let E1 equal to sigma 1 upon 2 epsilon. Here we are taking, since this is not given, so whether conducting or not conducting, then I, we have to take the non conducting seat. As I have told you earlier, that if the seat name is not mentioned, then always take it the non conducting seat. And here we assume that this sigma 1 is greater than sigma. And this E2 equal to sigma 2 upon 2 epsilon naught. Here sigma 1 is greater than sigma 2. It means that the electric field due to this seat is more than the seat this second one. So this now we take the seat uh, A, B and this is now your C, D. So electric field due to the seat CD, AB, this is not so much and because of CD, this is not so much. So at point P, at point P, E is equal to, this is your equal to E1 minus E2 since 
e1 is greater than e2 so we are having we are applying to this one then this is your sigma 1 upon 2 epsilon naught minus sigma 2 upon 2 epsilon naught so this is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 upon 2 epsilon naught this is now e so this is now e inside e inside this is e in e in and now then at this points p1 and p2 the similar situation at points p1 and p2 this e is equal to this is your again e1 plus e2 both are in the same direction so we have to add to these quantities so here we are having this sigma 1 upon 2 epsilon naught plus sigma 2 upon 2 epsilon naught so this is equal to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 upon 2 epsilon naught this is now e out e out this is now e in this is the general expression now from here you can find that if sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 then E in is equal to 0 and E out is equal to sigma upon epsilon naught. If sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 equal to sigma. Suppose to this one then E in this is equal to 0 e out this is equal to sigma upon epsilon naught this is so much so here this is now sigma minus sigma equal to zero and this is now two sigma so two will cancel to sigma upon epsilon naught and uh, also you can have that if sigma one equal to plus sigma and sigma two equal to minus sigma Suppose this is not positive, this is not negative. Then what will happen? Then E in equal E in this is now your sigma minus minus sigma upon 2 epsilon naught. So this will give you E in equal to sigma upon epsilon naught. And E out equal to sigma minus sigma upon 2 epsilon naught. So this will give you E out equal to 0. The situation will be different. If these two sheets are having the same charge, then electric field between them, electric field between these two sheets will be zero and outside the sheets the electric field will be so much. And if they are oppositely charged, then inside the, the, the electric field between the sheets is equal to sigma upon epsilon naught and outside them this will be equal to 0. So this is what uh, the case is when this sigma 1 and sigma 2 are different one. This is now one special case of this one. Many times this is asked uh, in the board exams. And now number 2. Sigma. This I have taken the first, this I have taken the second, the electric force.
between two parallel two parallel parallel uh, infinite long linear charge linear charge let's see here in this linear charge this is now your lambda 1 This is now your lambda two. This is uh, we have to find the force on this. So <coughs> the electric field because of this uh, the first linear charge on this one that will be in this way. This is now your E one. And because of this, the electric field here, this will be in this way. This is now E two. Let the distance between them is equal to R. This is now suppose we take this is now P one and this side take the P two. P two. The electric field. E one is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught into two lambda one upon r. So this is away from the charge distribution. Similarly, electric field. Electric field. Due to linear charge lambda two, and this E two is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught into two lambda two upon r. This is so much. Now let's then we will find the force either this on the uh, P one or on this. P two. This we take uh, the sheets of the same linear charge as.
lambda 1 and lambda 2 equal to linear charge h theta. So this is the electric field. Uh, suppose we are taking on this uh, uh, the linear charge density P1. P1 on this uh, linear uh, linear charge P2 this is equal to your this is now suppose the charge is equal to Q into lambda. This is now your lambda 1. This is now lambda 2 into L. L the length of this. This one is the length. This is now length so much. So the force. force F equal to this is now your E1 into Q so this E1 equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 lambda 1 upon R into this Q Q equal to lambda 2 into L so this is uh, your 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 upon r into l this is equal to force where l is the length of the this linear charge this uh, that we are having this linear uh, this uh, c p2 so you can see from here that force per unit length Therefore, force per unit length, this F equal to this is now your 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 upon R. So much Newton meter. So I get uh, better to here F equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 upon R Newton per meter Newton per meter and you can see from here that if lambda 1 equal to lambda 2 then this will be your lambda square and the 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught we can write it as a k the constant So, if lambda 1 equal to lambda 2 equal to lambda, then F equal to 2k lambda square upon R, where k equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon. Similarly, if you want to find the force on this uh, on the linear charge lambda 1, then we will get the same expression. 
So this will be the same one, 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 upon r. So when the two uh, linear charges are equal, then we are having the this expression. Or we can say this is now 2k lambda 1 lambda 2 upon r and this is now so much Newton per meter. This is the case when the two linear charge, uh, charge densities are uh, this uh, infinite long charge are parallel to each other. And the third case, suppose there is a charge which is moving around this uh, linear charge. Suppose uh, we are having one more. The velocity of charge particle. It means that this uh, centripetal force Fc, this is equal to mb square upon r. 
Now then this force F and Fc must be equal. So Fc is equal to F. Fc this is now Mb square upon R equal to this is now you 2k lambda upon R into Q. Where V is the velocity of the particle. Where V equal to velocity of the particle. Then you can have this R will cancel from here and uh, the V is equal to 2k lambda into Q upon M. This is now square root. This is the expression for velocity. So sometimes it is given that uh, the charge is moving around this linear charge density so much then find out the velocity of the charge particle. So whether this is the electron or some particle that is given to you, the value of charge, then you can apply this formula to find the velocity of the charge. This question is asked many times in the board exam. So this is also equally applicable for the competitive exams also. So these are the some special cases of this uh, Electric field when we are having the two charge sheets and when we are having the two linear charge uh, densities uh, that we can find the force and the electric field because of them. Thank you.